Welcome to Ask Fabio. Today we're diving into the important topic of testicular health. We'll explore how to identify testicular lumps and the steps you should take if you discover one. If you find a lump in your scrotum, it's crucial to contact your GP immediately. Early detection is key and your doctor can provide the necessary guidance and support. Performing a self-examination is best done when you're warm and relaxed like after a shower. Stand in front of a mirror and gently feel each testicle for any unusual lumps. Most scrotal swellings are benign and don't require treatment unless they cause discomfort. A simple ultrasound can usually distinguish between benign and cancerous lumps. If a lump is attached to the testicle surface, it's likely benign. However, if it's within the testis, there's a higher chance it could be cancerous. So seek medical advice promptly. Testicular cancer is the most common malignant tumor in men aged 20 to 50. Early diagnosis and treatment can cure over 95% of cases, even if the cancer has spread. Your GP will take a full medical history and perform a physical examination, including checking your scrotum, abdomen and lymph glands to assess any scrotal swelling. Blood tests may be conducted to check kidney and liver function and to identify any anemia. Tumor markers might also be measured if testicular cancer is suspected. An ultrasound scan is typically arranged to determine the swelling's location relative to the testicle. Depending on the results, a CT scan may also be necessary. Scrotal swellings can be cystic, inflammatory, or solid. Cystic swellings like hydrocele's or epididymal cysts are benign and only need treatment if they cause symptoms. Inflammatory swellings may result from infections or testicular torsion. These require prompt medical attention, especially torsion, which is a surgical emergency. Solid swellings could be due to rare conditions like tuberculosis or syphilis, or more commonly, a sperm granuloma. If within the testicle, it may indicate a tumor. Treatment for cystic swellings includes hydrocele repair or cyst excision. Inflammatory swellings are treated with antibiotics and torsion requires immediate surgery. If diagnosed with testicular cancer, urgent referral to a urology clinic is necessary. Surgery to remove the testicle is often recommended with further treatment as needed. Testicular cancer treatment may involve radiotherapy or chemotherapy, depending on pathology results and tumor markers. Long-term follow-up with an oncologist is essential. Other solid swellings like sperm granulomas may not need treatment unless uncomfortable. Tuberculosis and syphilis are rare, but treated with specific antibiotics. For hernias extending towards the testicle, a referral to a hernia surgeon is advised, as urologists typically do not treat hernias. It's important to be aware of your body and seek medical advice if you notice any changes. Early intervention can make a significant difference in outcomes. Remember, most testicular lumps are benign, but it's always better to be safe and get them checked by a healthcare professional. For more information, you can visit resources like Everyman, Orchid, and Macmillan, which provide valuable insights into testicular and prostate cancer. These organizations offer support and information for those living with a diagnosis of testicular cancer, helping you navigate through treatment and recovery. Thank you for watching. Stay informed and proactive about your health. Don't hesitate to reach out to healthcare professionals if you have any concerns.